Tonight in Montgomery, history is examined as city leaders recognize the 67th anniversary of the Montgomery bus boycott. The year-long protest is what sparked the civil rights movement, and mass meetings within area churches were key in the movement. Tonight, the city, uh, the city dove deeper into those mass meetings while looking ahead to how churches can lead in today's post-civil rights era. There is only one Hope Street Baptist Church. <laughs> to commemorate the 67th anniversary of the mass meeting that was held in the wake of Mrs. Rosa Parks' uh, arrest uh, in 1955. And this is the place where the first mass meeting was held and would go on to nominate uh, a young pastor by the name of uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to lead the Montgomery Improvement Association. This place, the city of Montgomery, is the birthplace of the civil rights movement. It's not just where Miss Rosa Parks sat down, but it is where the city of Montgomery stood up. And I would dare say not just Montgomery, but all people began to stand up. They wanted to force America to live up to its true ideals. And what I'm concerned about, not just with black people, but with America as a whole, that while we have made progress, there's still much more work to do. And so I'm committed to making sure that we don't stop. I'm committed to make sure we have fair voting laws. I'm committed to making sure that we have equality for all Americans and not just some. I think much like uh, Dr. Johnson spoke here tonight. We can't stop now. We can't stop now. We can't stop now because democracy is on the line. Vote like you never voted before. Preach like you never preached before. Sing like you never sung before. Because we can't. I said we can't. I said we can't stop now. Well, tonight's event wrapped up a series of events over the last five days commemorating the Montgomery bus boycott.